JDOD, day one wrap. Sports fans, boys and girls, Dennis Hallett intro. John Reed doing the intro though. So we just got out of Bill McDermott's keynote. Thanks a lot, man. We just got a McDermott's keynote, which uh, you skipped, but I think you could hear it through the curtain, so that's probably about the same. Um, but anyway, we didn't get a lot of news, but we did get a customer panel, and we've had a bunch of meetings today. The big keynotes are tomorrow and the next day, but what's your reaction so far, guys? Well, I wasn't sure that it was a keynote. In my opinion, it was a customer panel. So I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Great wrap. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I tend to agree. The only difference being the purpose of that keynote was most of an executive messaging, which I think SAP did a good job with. The initial part of the keynote, not a big fan. The customer panel was fabulous. John, what did we learn today, man? We had some meetings. We learned some things. Yeah, we did. I mean, just on the keynote, it was, um, I think people are traditionally used to SAP making big announcements on the keynote. That didn't happen today. I don't think it's a bad thing because it's it was an exec panel. It, it's good for push down for technology in the organizations that, that we work with. I think that's that's all, all good news. The, the news comes tomorrow and Wednesday, right? We can expect that to come in gyms. Um, on, the, on what we learned, I mean, I just think we had a, a great bunch of meetings today. Uh, we, we jumped from, from room to room, and we learned that for all this hard work that we've done in the last year and a half, they're starting to listen. They really are. That's, that's what I feel. Is SAP listening? Well, yes, and, but we still need to see some action. But the thing I got from the uh, keynote, right, is, well, the techie guys probably hated it. I saw a lot of them running out the back door, right? Oh, yeah. But quite frankly, this is about selling to business. It's what, it's what this company ought to have been about for a long time and has yeah. failed, to, failed to do. So I'm really pleased that, um, that Bill's put that message out. But as always, it's going to be execution. So I find it interesting, though, that uh, the customers were mainly talking about ERP legacy system, putting them together about ERP. And where do you find ERP on the show floor? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But they were talking a lot about a modern ERP platform. <coughs> so you definitely got that message around. You got to be on the latest and greatest. Right. So but I'm sure SAP I'm was happy sure to hear that yes, message. Yes, and I'm very sure that they are still all on ERP as their main right. core to run the business. But not 46C. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> ERP not. 6 Hopefully out. not. <laughs> yeah, yes. Uh, yeah, and to be fair, we've done a lot of belly aching about featuring more customers in keynotes, so we got to give SAP credit. I thought the informal nature of that panel was no, a customers. lot closer to what yeah, we wanted. Absolutely, and outside the keynote and in all the meetings, I think SAP has started listening for sure, right? So all the feedback we gave on developer engagement, you know, simplifying the licensing, so on and so forth, although the details cannot be made public yet. I mean, they are working on all of that, and that's that's awesome that they're, they're listening and acting on it. And no dead bodies yet, either. No dead bodies, as yep. far as we know. Not that we know. Yeah. Not that we know. <laughs> yeah. So if I were to raise two criticisms in response to that, they would be, A, is SAP moving fast enough based on how quickly some of their competitors might be moving, right? And, and second, is the rank and file in middle management getting the message? Because the leadership really seems to, but how does that filter down? John, John what do you think? John should answer that one, definitely. What do you think? Uh -huh. I, get, I get the knife now, yeah, yeah, do yeah. I? L listen, I mean, th it, it's what we've learned is that the, the engagement with the executives is as good as it could be now. And that they're, they're listening and they're playing back those messages. I, I think the cycle in which it's happening is a little slower than, than I would like in that we say something and then a year later it becomes it becomes evident. But, but that, that can improve in time. Um, what you're saying is true though. What, what we're not seeing is that, that, that the change is happening on, on the, at the grassroots. Um, and perhaps that the, it, the filter of middle management is still a problem. I know Jim Schnob has cut the, the level of management in the organization. I heard there are up to 13 or 14 levels in places. It's now down to, to seven in most places. And that should have helped. But it sort of f still feels like there must be some antibodies in the system which are just preventing that message from getting down. I mean, we saw one great example of that, which is the... BW on BW HANA, HANA services rebate. You know, to all, to all the customers yeah. out there, if you're listening, there is a services rebate on BW on HANA, and I hear that it's been sent out to the customers, bypassing the sales force and the regional vice presidents. I think that's that's a pretty ballsy move for Rob Ensler. What you're saying, the sales force wasn't totally on board with this? It, it appears not. They said they didn't get the memo, and they shouldn't either. <laughs> they shouldn't get that memo. Someone forgot the CC list. <laughs> Yeah. Which nobody reads anyway, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Any final bullet points before we wrap for what you want to see the next two days? It's got to be action for tomorrow, right? So they've made a lot of promises. They've given us a lot of good things to think about, which we can't talk about right now. And um, let's see what they come up with tomorrow. 
Yeah, looking forward to something big on, on cloud. Oh. That's pretty much what I'm looking yeah. forward to tomorrow. I definitely look forward to see Lars Dahlgaard. I heard it's going to, you know, he's a cannon, so I want to see that happen. Will we see any F-bombs off the stage? <laughs> we'll find Ooh. out. <laughs> Just looking forward, mate. It's always good fun. Okay. That's a wrap, guys. Cheers. Cheers.